what are the different costs that I would incur when I'm taking the GMAT exam? What, uh, what should I spend on and how much would I end up spending just for the process of writing the GMAT? This is a question that a lot of people have asked, so let's run through the costs real quickly. We all know the basic costs. If you want to register for the test and if you want to write the GMAT once, the cost of a single GMAT appointment is $250. If you end up giving the GMAT multiple times, you still have to pay $250 for every single attempt of the GMAT. Just because you've paid $250 once does not mean the GMAT is going to let you write the test n number of times. There are going to be a couple of other costs that you could possibly incur during this process. So let's run through those costs. You've booked the GMAT test, you don't want to give it and waste $250, but you're not prepared for it. Or for some reason, because of personal issues, you would like to postpone the test. You can reschedule your GMAT appointment as long as you do it seven days prior to the date of the appointment. It will cost you $60 to do that. If within that seven day window you want to reschedule it, that's essentially like canceling and rewriting the test all over again. So you have to pay $250 just for the process of rescheduling your appointment. You've written the test, you're not happy with the score, you decide to cancel that score on the during those few minutes that you have at the end of the test. And then when you come out of the test center, you start thinking, maybe I did get a good score. Let me try applying with this. So you want to reinstate your score now. So if you choose to do that, you can do it for a period of four years and 11 months because the GMAT is valid for five years and it's going to cost you $50 to reinstate your score. You didn't cancel the score during the few minutes that you have at the end of the test. Now you are not very happy with it and you want to come out of the test center and you say, I'm going to give it another shot. Then you have 72 hours to cancel your score. You can do it at a cost of $25. Some people like to do a little bit of additional analysis as soon as they finish the test and the GMAT lets you do that. You have something called the enhanced score report that you can get from them, which will basically tell you how you have performed in each of the subsections, not just how you've performed in your quant and your verbal sections, but break it down further into how you did in arithmetic, in sentence correction, in problem solving, in data sufficiency and so on. So if you choose to take that enhanced score report, maybe because you like, you're like me and you just want to say, oh, I got only one question wrong or I got all the answers, right? Or because you want to see how you have done so that you can improve for your next attempt, then that report is going to cost you $30. One last thing, one last number I'm going to throw at you. Um, you have the option of choosing five B schools that you want to apply to. Uh, the GMAT will send the scores free of cost to those five B schools that you are choosing and you choose these schools before you write your GMAT. If you want to apply to additional schools, then you can request the GMAT to send your score reports to those additional schools. Each additional report that you send is going to cost you $35. So a lot of numbers I have thrown at you. You don't have to necessarily spend all of that amount. Some of them you might end up spending, some of them you might not end up spending, and it's all going to depend on how well you've prepared for the test. Good luck.